happy Diwali in advance. So if you belong to a typical family like mine, you have seen only a number of different Diwali gifts. For example, number one, dry fruits. Padam, salted pista, kaju and kishmish. Namely, these four are the most popular ones. Number two, mithai or Indian sweets. Number three, namkeen. And number four, galti se ek hada home decor item mil gaya to mil gaya. Hence, to break these gifting rules, I have come together with an ultimate Diwali gifting guide for you. According to your budget, we will be starting from rupees 101 and going up to rupees 5000 and above. So I made sure there's something for everyone. Budget number one, rupees 101. Ek rupiah shagun ke liye. So if your budget is around 100 rupees, instead of trying to put together a box of four mithais, why not give a fruit basket? You can easily fit in more than five to six varieties of fruits and it is so much more healthier than sweets. Also, we all know sweets are not cheap. You can also make the basket so colourful by adding fruits of different colour like orange, pomegranate, banana, teen colour to idhar hi ho gaye. Another thing that you can gift in 101 rupees is a huge snack basket. Now, if you go to stores to buy pre-made snack baskets, they are quite expensive in general and they include so many foreign snacks. Why do we need foreign snacks when we Indians make the best snacks? For example, I'm going to run down to my medical store and make a very cute basket in which I'm surely going to add the 10 rupee rusk ka packet because I love the rusk and I hope a vegan variant comes out soon. Then you can add a small chotu loose popcorn ka packet. You can add in your favorite biscuits like parleji. Most of my family still does eat parleji. You can add in chotu chotu dairy milks and you can make in a huge hamper in just rupees 100. Now if your budget is rupees 251, the first thing that came to my mind is indoor low maintenance plants. These days, apne local plant wale ke paas easily succulents mil jate hai. Succulents are tiny plants which you can keep indoors. They do not really require sunlight or that much care to be honest. So you can easily buy a couple succulents for around 200 rupees and from the 51 rupees you can make it look really pretty. You're not actually putting a lot of responsibility on someone and at the same time giving an environmentally friendly gift. Number two, you can give travel size games. I have these travel size games with me since I was a baby. There's Guess Who, there's Mastermind, there's Travel Size Monopoly and Cluedo. Well, when I was a baby, I think these games are only for around 100 to 150 rupees. I did look them up on Amazon recently and they are selling for around 200 rupees. Not that much of an inflation, so you can give one cute indoor game. You can also throw in a pack of cards. They're pretty cheap, like around 30 rupees for one pack. And the remaining 20 rupees, you can either put in to make the package look beautiful or if you already have that sorted, you can add in a couple little chocolates. This way, you can actually use the Diwali gift at the Diwali parties and play so many fun board games. Now, item number three is a unique set of glasses and crockery. Again, if you go to a mall, crockery sets are pretty damn expensive. So what I like to do is I like to hit my local BMC market and over there you get such pretty glasses only for around 30 to 40 rupees. For 250 rupees, you can easily put together a set of four to six glasses. You can keep them all the same or you can give them different depending on what the taste of your guest is. And this gift will look so elegant. Now we move on to the budget of rupees 500. One. Now the first thing you can give is a book basket. Amazon does great deals on books. You can easily get books from rupees 100 to rupees 250. A huge variety exists. So if you have Amazon Prime, you can go for the one day delivery and order books today itself. But if you don't have time or cannot find good deals on your favorite novels, then what you can do is you can go to your local second hand book wala or the first copy ones. I actually personally do not support the first copy selling of books because the publishers and all the people on the team have put in a lot of effort. So buying them as a first copy does not really transfer the money to them for their hard work. But just in case you're short of time, this option is available. You can easily pick up four to five books in rupees 500 and give your favorite titles to somebody you love. And this way you can all exchange your favorite books and have a really knowledgeable Diwali. Now another thing you can give is a stationery basket. How could I not include stationery in a gift giving guide? On my channel you must have already seen really unique stationery pieces but here are a few of my selections which you can actually include in a hamper. To-do lists are great. 
creative pens are nice creative diaries are nice because these gifts will be used all year round instead of these unhealthy snacks that we keep exchanging people could also use these to write their fitness goals so your gift could actually convert the unhealthy diwali into a healthy one and stationery is so damn unique nobody says no to a cute stationery gift hamper another idea i have for rupees 500 is a drinks basket so what you can do in 500 rupees is you can pick up one box of each favorite drink and if you have multiple guests to whom you have to gift this is even better for example you can buy cranberry tea you can buy the regular green teas you can buy nice coffees so four to five boxes you can buy and then you can apportion them into three to four hampers and give like 10 to 12 varieties of teas that again depends on your budget if you have a lower budget then you can give four to five varieties of drinks but again these drinks are healthier and it's a unique idea i would love to receive a hamper of differently flavored teas and coffees now if your budget is rupees 1001 the first thing that comes to your mind is ganpati or another god ka deity now what i would suggest is that some people might already have enough idols at their home like we do so what you can do is you can give a chotu idol and along with that you can give a few home decor pieces if you don't have time to go to crawford market you can definitely hit your local bmc market and i'm sure you'll find some unique home decor items there another thing that you can gift in rupees 1001 is a travel hamper i go to miniso a lot that's no surprise so when i went there i actually did the math neck pillows there cost only approximately 250 to 300 rupees great quality eye masks are only for 150 rupees a cute luggage tag was only 75 rupees and along with that you can put in a bunch of travel size snacks also one or two travel size board games and this would make for such a cute travel hamper and such a nice diwali gift now, if your budget is rupees 2000 to 2500 i would highly recommend you to give some of these unique gifts rather than going for those handmade chocolates which some people really love but some might not give a full blown makeup kit again miniso comes in handy i did a video of my full face of makeup and all the items together around 10 items with a makeup remover as well cost me only around rupees 2000 guys i will link the video down below if you want to refer to what all i got but if you don't have a miniso near you you can definitely go and buy some drugstore items and put together a really cute hamper another great gift could be a skincare set now the trouble that you might face here is that most of us don't know the skin type of our guest so make sure the products that you select are for all skin types and not for a specific purpose like don't give an acne cream because your guest might never have acne but you can give a moisturizer which is for all skin types you can put in a sunscreen which is for all skin types you can put in a good lip balm as well nail polish remover wipes you can put in face moisturizing wipes you can put in a nice toner so this is a good way of pampering and the last budget item is rupees 5000 and above and now again i would suggest that do not go for typical home decor items in diwali we always clean our homes so why should we give somebody something that actually fills their home during diwali and which might not even be their taste so i would suggest you to give something which is actually useful for example we in our family bought this saragama caravan and it is so good my mom listens to it every day i'm going to gift one to my grandpa soon so if you have the budget go for it it's for six thousand rupees you might just get on a discount for around five thousand and there are so many colors to choose from so you can have your home decor bit choice in that Another great thing which comes in the budget of 5000 and above or actually below 5000 as well is Google Home or Amazon Alexa. I think it's called Amazon Echo. So the Chotu versions of these things do come in around rupees 5000 or below. And that's something which is tiny, won't fill somebody's house, but they can definitely use it. But my last suggestion would be that if you know your guests well enough, you can give them a full blown baking kit. Now, so many people that I see, so many of my friends are like, I love baking, I want to bake cakes but i don't have an oven at home so if you have this kind of a budget for somebody so close then ovens cost really less i could find ovens for as low as around two and a half thousand so not only can you gift an oven but you can also give some cookie cutters some additional tools some baking trays and you can also print out your favorite recipes and give along with them so this was my diwali gifting guide if you want me to make such gift guides for any other festival then please let me know down below and i will be sure to make one Wishing all of you a very hip happy <laughs> wishing all of you a very happy Diwali in advance again and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye!